the Los Angeles Lakers find themselves navigating a familiar yet frustrating pattern. Game after game, they exemplify the volatility of the NBA, a league where fortunes can swing drastically, often hinging on success or failure beyond the arc. For every bright moment of triumph, there's an equal and opposite stumble, leaving fans and analysts alike questioning if this team has the consistency needed to truly contend. Leave your like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates. While the 2024-25 season has offered some encouraging signs, an alarming issue continues to shadow the Lakers' progress. It's a problem that points to a harsh reality. This team must address its glaring defensive flaws to maintain any hope of sustained success. At first glance, the Lakers' record suggests a team in control. They've remained above .500, showing glimpses of the dominance that's come to define the franchise's history. However, a closer look reveals a streaky performance. The team has strung together impressive winning runs, including a six-game streak earlier in the season, only to follow up with stretches of inconsistency. They've already endured multiple back-to-back -back losses, a troubling sign for a squad with championship aspirations. The root of this inconsistency, perimeter defense, or the lack thereof. Anthony Davis, the team's defensive anchor, has been nothing short of phenomenal when he's on the court. Night after night, he puts in Herculean efforts to protect the rim, switch on to smaller players, and clean up defensive lapses. Yet even Davis, as versatile as he is, cannot be everywhere at once. And where Davis isn't, the Lakers' defensive vulnerabilities are glaringly obvious. The harsh truth is setting in. The current roster may not be equipped to resolve these defensive issues on its own. While the Lakers boast an impressive collection of offensive talent, including LeBron James, Rue Hakimura, Austin Reeves, D'Angelo Russell, and promising rookie Dalton Connect, defense has been another story. Too many players on this roster lack the consistency, intensity, or skill set required to contribute meaningfully on the defensive end. This isn't just speculation, the numbers tell the story. The Lakers rank among the bottom teams in the league in key defensive metrics. Their defensive rating places them near the bottom of the NBA standings, and their struggles on the perimeter are well documented. They've been giving up too many open looks from beyond the arc, ranking near the bottom in three-point field goals allowed and opponent shooting percentage from deep. While there have been some bright spots, such as Connect's development into a potential two-way player, the overall defensive effort has been lacking. The inconsistency isn't just frustrating, it's costly. Against elite teams with superstar scorers, the Lakers' inability to lock down on defense has been repeatedly exposed, raising questions about whether this group can rise to the challenge. There is hope that help could be on the way in the form of Jared Vanderbilt, one of the team's better defenders. However, relying on Vanderbilt comes with significant risk. The forward has struggled with injuries, missing the majority of last season and the early part of this one. While the Lakers are optimistic about his eventual return, there's no guarantee he'll be the same player he was before his setbacks. Banking on his health and immediate impact is a gamble, one the Lakers might not be able to afford. The unfortunate reality is that internal improvement alone may not be enough. While it's natural to hope that players can step up and develop, the Lakers' defensive struggles appear systemic. They stem not from a lack of effort, but from the composition of the roster itself. Too many players are known for their offensive contributions rather than their defensive prowess. Even those who are recognized as solid defenders aren't necessarily the lockdown stoppers the Lakers need to compete against the NBA's best. This brings the Lakers to a critical crossroads. If they want to turn their season around and establish themselves as legitimate contenders, they may need to consider reshaping their roster through trades. It's a tough pill to swallow, but adding a high-impact defender, or two, could be the key to fixing their persistent defensive woes. Making a trade isn't just about bringing in better defenders, it's also about rebalancing the team. Right now, the Lakers have an abundance of offensive talent, but the lack of defensive specialists is dragging them down. A trade could inject the energy, focus, and discipline needed to transform their identity on that end of the floor. Of course, trades come with their own risks. Chemistry is always a concern, especially with a team that's already shown flashes of brilliance. But the alternative, continuing with the same group and hoping for a sudden turnaround, feels increasingly unrealistic. Without significant changes, it's hard to imagine this team overcoming its defensive struggles and achieving the consistency required to make a deep playoff run. Ultimately, this is the challenge facing the Lakers. The franchise has always prided itself on adapting and evolving to meet the demands of the game. 
Now, they must decide whether to make the bold moves necessary to fix their flaws or continue down a path that may lead to more of the same. For Lakers fans, this season still holds plenty of promise. The star power is undeniable, and the potential for greatness is there. But as the team looks to the future, one thing is clear. If they want to achieve their championship dreams, they'll need to confront their weaknesses head-on, and that may mean making some tough decisions sooner rather than later. Jackson Hayes made his highly anticipated return to action on Tuesday night, suiting up for the Lakers in their NBA Cup clash against the Phoenix Suns. In 17 minutes on the floor, Hayes contributed seven points and pulled down four rebounds. Unfortunately, despite his return and contributions, the Lakers endured a difficult 27-point defeat. Now, to make matters worse, it appears Hayes' comeback might be short-lived due to a recurrence of his previous injury. For the Lakers, this development couldn't come at a more challenging time. The team has been grappling with a lack of depth at the center position, a critical factor in their ongoing struggles this season. With only Anthony Davis and two-way player Christian Coloco available as true centers, the Lakers have found themselves undermanned in the paint. This lack of size and defensive presence has contributed to one of the league's most problematic defenses. However, the urgency to bolster their rotation seems to have come at a cost. According to ESPN's Dave McMenamin, Hayes has re-aggravated the right ankle sprain that kept him sidelined for two weeks. The Lakers are expected to provide an update on his condition soon, but the initial reports aren't promising. Here's what McMenamin shared. The Lakers say that Jackson Hayes re-aggravated the same ankle issue that kept him out of the lineup for two weeks. This setback leaves the Lakers in a precarious position. Without Hayes, their already thin center rotation shrinks even further, forcing the team to rely heavily on Davis and Coloco. While Davis remains one of the league's premier big men, asking him to carry such a heavy defensive load on a nightly basis has clearly taken its toll. Even Davis, known for his defensive prowess, has started to show signs of fatigue as he juggles protecting the rim and managing offensive responsibilities under head coach J.J. Reddick's demanding system. Hayes, while not an elite defender, has a physical presence in the paint that helps alleviate some pressure from Davis. His ability to contest shots and box out opposing bigs adds a layer of security to a defense that has been far too vulnerable. Hayes' absence isn't just about defense, though. His presence also impacts the team's offensive schemes. With Hayes on the court, the Lakers have another pick-and-roll threat and a lob option to keep defenses honest. Without him, the team becomes more predictable, often forcing Davis or LeBron James to shoulder additional responsibilities. As for Hayes, the details surrounding his injury remain unclear. He appeared to roll his ankle in the game's final moments, limping off the court and heading straight to the locker room for evaluation. While the severity of the re-aggravation is unknown, any extended absence could have significant consequences for both the player and the team. Hayes had been gradually finding his rhythm in the Lakers system, and another injury setback could stall his progress and impact his role moving forward. The Lakers are no strangers to adversity, but this season has already presented a unique set of challenges. Injuries have consistently disrupted the rotation, leaving the coaching staff to shuffle lineups and adjust strategies on the fly. While the return of Jared Vanderbilt could provide a defensive boost, his availability remains uncertain. Vanderbilt has missed a substantial portion of games due to his own injury issues, and counting on him to immediately solve the Lakers' problems might be unrealistic. So, where do the Lakers go from here? It's clear the team needs solutions, and fast. Relying solely on the current roster to step up may not be enough. While Coloco has shown flashes of potential, expecting a two-way player to consistently hold down the paint in an NBA environment is a tall order. Davis will undoubtedly continue to anchor the defense to the best of his ability, but overworking him risks long-term consequences for his health and effectiveness. Exploring potential roster moves might be the next logical step. Adding a defensive-minded big man who can contribute immediately would address a glaring weakness. Whether that means looking to the trade market or exploring free agent options, the Lakers need to act decisively if they want to remain competitive in a stacked Western Conference. As the Los Angeles Lakers continue to navigate through the ups and downs of the current season, it's becoming increasingly clear that significant roster adjustments are needed if they want to solidify their title aspirations. With LeBron James continuing to defy Father Time and Anthony Davis performing at an elite level, the Lakers are still positioned as contenders. But the question remains, can they make the right moves to take their team to the next level? There's no question about the star power of this team. LeBron, in his 20th season, remains one of the most dominant players in the league, 
while Davis continues to be a force on both ends of the court. However, despite their incredible talents, the Lakers are not without flaws. Depth, particularly in the front court, has become a major issue. The team's front office is fully aware that, in order to compete with the best teams in the league, they need to make some strategic moves. It's not just about relying on LeBron and Davis, it's about giving them the support they need to go deep into the postseason. While Davis has expressed frustrations about his role at center, the Lakers are actively seeking ways to resolve this issue and give their stars the best chance to succeed. The focus, therefore, is on adding depth and versatility to the roster, especially in positions where the team is most vulnerable. And that could mean one thing, trades. One of the most talked about trade possibilities for the Lakers is a potential deal with the Chicago Bulls for Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic. Both players could be perfect additions to the Lakers roster. Levine, a dynamic scorer, would give the Lakers another offensive weapon to complement LeBron James, providing scoring and playmaking ability that can help take some of the pressure off their superstar. On the other hand, Vucevic, with his ability to stretch the floor as a center, would bring an added dimension to the Lakers' offense. His outside shooting could help create more space for Davis and LeBron, allowing them to operate more freely. Of course, making this trade happen would come with challenges. To acquire Levine and Vucevic, the Lakers would likely need to part with several assets. D'Angelo Russell, Rue Hakimura, and Max Christie are all players who could be on the table. Additionally, the Lakers may have to part with a future draft pick to make the deal more appealing to the Bulls. However, it's crucial that the Lakers avoid overcommitting financially, and any potential trade will need to balance the short-term gain with the long-term outlook. If this trade goes through, the Lakers would get an offensive boost, strengthening their starting lineup and giving them a better chance to compete with other top-tier teams in the league. The addition of Levine's scoring and Vucevic's floor spacing could transform the team's offensive dynamic, giving LeBron and Davis even more room to work their magic. But of course, it all depends on whether the Lakers can make the right offer without overpaying. Alongside Levine and Vucevic, another name that has surfaced as a potential target for the Lakers is Dorian Finney-Smith from the Brooklyn Nets. Finney-Smith is known for his defensive ability and his shooting from the outside, making him a perfect fit for the Lakers' current needs. While the Lakers have plenty of firepower on offense, their defense could use an upgrade, and Finney-Smith could provide just that. He's a versatile forward who can guard multiple positions, and his shooting would space the floor, allowing LeBron and Davis to thrive in more open space. But, as with any potential trade, acquiring Finney-Smith won't be simple. The Lakers would likely have to offer a future draft pick or a young player to make the deal work. However, Brooklyn, who could be looking to rebuild, might be open to a deal that brings them salary-expiring contracts in return, such as the one held by D'Angelo Russell. This creates a scenario where the Lakers could make a move to add a valuable defender without giving up too much in terms of long-term assets. Finney Smith is highly regarded by his peers for his defensive prowess. His combination of strength, speed, and athleticism makes him one of the most well-rounded defenders in the league. And while he may not be a star offensive player, his ability to knock down shots from beyond the arc makes him an ideal fit in the Lakers system. As the trade deadline approaches, expect the Lakers to be active in the market. The goal is clear, add depth to the roster and give head coach J.J. Redick more options. The Lakers need to continue improving their defense while also finding ways to improve their offensive flow. After a disappointing playoff exit, the team knows that they need to bolster their roster if they're going to make a deeper run into the postseason. In addition to a player like Finney Smith, the Lakers are also keeping an eye on the center position. They know that Anthony Davis is best utilized as a power forward, and adding a true center would allow Davis to return to his natural position, giving the Lakers more flexibility with their rotations. Whether it's a traditional big man or someone with more modern versatility, Adding a center to the mix would allow the Lakers to create more favorable matchups, especially in a playoff series. Ultimately, the Lakers have one goal in mind, winning a championship. But with LeBron James and Anthony Davis in their prime, they have a limited window to make the right moves and capitalize on their star power. That means that every trade, every acquisition, will have to be made with careful consideration. The Lakers are committed to making bold moves, but they're also committed to protecting their future. This is a team that can contend right now, but they need to make sure they don't jeopardize their long-term prospects in the process. With LeBron James leading the charge, and a healthy Davis anchoring the defense, the right acquisitions, whether it's a scoring guard like Levine, a floor-spacing big man like Vucevic, or a versatile defender like Finney Smith, could be the difference between another early exit and a deep postseason run. 
As the trade deadline nears, the Lakers' front office will be working hard to evaluate all possible options, knowing that the right moves could propel them to the top of the Western Conference. Whether it's through a blockbuster deal or a smaller, more strategic trade, the Lakers are prepared to do whatever it takes to improve their roster and secure that elusive championship.